why it's best to never eat bear meat. A bear steak could be your worst health decision. Tiny worms could invade your body. They can cause heart failure and brain damage. In 2022, a family dinner with bear meat left six people seriously ill. Even those who only ate vegetables got sick. This worm is called trichinella. Typical pork parasites might die in the freezer, but bear-loving worms are tougher. The ones in northern areas are particularly dangerous. They're almost completely resistant to cold. This makes the advice about freezing meat useless. But surely kicking kills them, you might ask. Well, yes and no. You need to heat every part of the meat to at least 137 degrees Fahrenheit. If you miss even a small spot, you could be in trouble. Some people in Alaska got sick from eating rare bear steaks. Bear meat is often very dark in color. This makes it hard to tell when it's fully cooked. One wrong guess and you could be in for a world of hurt. At first, you might experience stomach issues. You could also feel very tired. As the infection progresses, more serious problems can develop. Severe muscle pain is a hallmark symptom. Your muscles might become weak and sore. Some people experience swelling around their eyes. Neurological symptoms are possible as well. You might experience headaches. Coordination problems can develop. In rare cases, the parasite can affect your brain. The parasite can also affect your heart. It may cause heart rhythm problems. In severe cases, it can lead to heart failure. Here's an unsettling fact. If left untreated, the infection can become chronic. The worms form cysts in your muscles. These cysts can remain for years. They might cause ongoing pain and weakness. Let's look at some numbers. Between 2008 and 2012, 84 people in the US got trichinosis. Of those cases, 41 came from bear meat. That's almost half. Remember, millions of people eat wild game every year in the US. Some people try to make bear salami. This is very risky. Salt curing might work for pork. However, we don't know enough about how it affects bear-specific parasites. The risk of eating bear salami is not worth taking. Cross-contamination is another serious concern. One study mentioned a bear being butchered on a table. That same table was later used to serve food. This shows how easily the parasites can spread. Even if you don't eat the meat directly, you could still be in danger. You might wonder about other wild game. Is it all dangerous? The answer isn't simple. Wild boar can have these parasites too, but it's not as common as in bears. Deer are generally safer. There are only a few reports of deer with these worms. The main concern is with meat-eating animals. Carnivores and omnivores are more likely to carry trichinella. This includes bears, wild pigs, and cougars. Here's a strange fact. If someone with trichinosis was eaten, the eater would get infected too. So what's the takeaway? If you must eat bear, though we really suggest you don't, cook it thoroughly. We're talking well done. No pink in sight. Use a meat thermometer and aim for at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Better yet, skip the bear entirely.